This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Amrily Waller. We start this hour with breaking news. We're getting reports of an explosion at a mosque in Kabul. It's thought there are multiple casualties. We'll bring you more details as we get them. Also on today's programme, a leading critic of Donald Trump is defeated in Wyoming. Liz Cheney effectively loses her seat after refusing to embrace what she described as his cult of personality. It would have required that I enable his ongoing efforts to unravel our democratic system and attack the foundations of our republic. That was a path I could not and would not take. Donald Trump gloats, but she says she's thinking of running for president to keep him out of the Oval Office. Also in today's programme, the number of forest fires increased 20 times last year, scorching an area the size of Romania. In eastern Spain, 10 passengers were hurt after their train was swept up in a wildfire. Reports suggest Russia has replaced the commander of its Black Sea fleet. It comes after attacks on military bases in Crimea. And an immense feeling of joy. Two paddleboarders describe this surprise encounter with a group of whales. We are curious also and like uh, them. Like exactly. Them. Like them. Hello and welcome to BBC World News and we start with that breaking news because an explosion has ripped through a mosque in the Afghan capital Kabul during evening prayers, killing and injuring a number of worshippers. Uh, details coming in all of the time. So let's speak to Ambrasan Etherajan, our South Asia regional editor who's joined me here in the studio. And uh, what else are you hearing? This happened during the evening prayer.